In this video, I am going to explain how to draw the displacement diagram when the follower is moving with uniform acceleration and retardation motion. Now let us see the problem. The problem is given a cam is to give the following motion to a flat faced follower. Outstroke during 70 degree of cam rotation, 12 for the next 40 degrees of cam rotation, a return stroke during the next 70 degrees of cam rotation and followed by 12 for the remaining 180 degrees of cam rotation. The stroke of the follower is 60 mm and the follower moves with uniform acceleration during outstroke and uniform retardation during return stroke. Rather, displacement diagram. Now, first uh, draw the rectangle. First, draw the rectangle. The length of the rectangle is equal to one complete rotation of the cam, that is the 360 degrees. Take the suitable scale and take the length of the rectangle equal to 360 degrees rotation of the cam. And height of the rectangle is equal to the lift or stroke of the follower. That follower stroke is given that you take as a height. So, once completed the rectangle, and this rectangle is dividing into the sequence of operation that is outstroke, dwell, return and dwell. So first you have to mark the outstroke. The angle of the cam rotation is given 70 degrees for outstroke. Then followed by dwell, the dwell angle is given 40 degrees. Then followed by return stroke of the follower, that angle is also given that is equal to 70 degrees. And remaining angle 180 degrees for the dwell period. This is for one complete rotation of the cam. Now, uh, the follower is moving with uniform uh, acceleration during the outstroke and uniform retardation during the return stroke. Now, we are going to construct the displacement diagram. So, now we can divide the outstroke and the return stroke into the equal number of uh, parts. Now, I have taken eight equal parts outstroke just divided the eight points and uh, given the numbering and from each point draw the vertical lines then uh, written stroke also divided into eight equal parts and uh, name the number assign the number and draw the vertical lines okay now consider outstroke the middle of the line that is at four at four with the line dividing into the same number of uh, eight divisions the middle of the line is divided into the same number of the eight divisions and assign the name like one prime two prime three prime four prime five prime six prime seven prime eight prime like that the first four that is the one prime two prime three prime four prime connected to the the lowest corner point the zero point and the top four points are connected to the top corner point Join uh, the, these points with the corner points with the straight lines. Now let us see that. Now the each line, that line is uh, connecting one prime and one. That intersection of lines uh, uh, passing through the point one and one prime that will mark as a point. And similarly, two and two prime mark the point. Three and three prime, four and four prime, five and five prime, six and six prime, seven and seven prime, eight and eight prime. Um, you, you can. Uh, um, mark the intersection points then assign the points a b c d e f g h i then you can draw with a smooth curve then you can obtain the displacement during the outstroke of the follower next dwell period so what is the dwell period during the dwell period the follower is remains the same position so now up to this uh, dwell period it's a straight line path Again, it will uh, return stroke is follower is moving with uniform retardation. Again, again here we can take the middle of the, uh, the divisions that is at point 13, that line you dividing to the equal parts, eight equal parts. Okay. Now, the left top corner to the half of the points you can join and the right bottom corner to the half of the points you can uh, join, similar to this outstroke. Then the intersection points, the intersection points now that, that is the uh, 10 and 10 prime 11 and 11 prime 12 and 12 prime 13 13 prime 14 14 prime 15 15 prime 16 16 prime you can intersection points you can mark then join all these uh, intersection points with a smooth curve then you can obtain uh, the the displacement curve 
during the return stroke. Okay, again from point R to S, it's a dwell period. It's a straight line. It's a straight line. Okay, now let us see that from the point A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S is the required displacement diagram for the entire complete one rotation of the cam. So at each point, what is the displacement of the follower? You can know that at point 4, the displacement is 4, 4 prime. At point 7, the displacement is 7 and H. At point 11, that 11 and L is the displacement of the follower. Like that, uh, so from uh, during the outstroke, the follower is moving up and during the return stroke, the follower is moving down. So this requirement, this uh, different uh, uh, angle of rotations, what is the displacement follower is required while constructing the cam profile. I hope everybody understand this displacement diagram.